carving out multiple niches in one room is always kind of a nice way to shake it up so you're not feeling like you're stuck in one place for the whole day. everywhere around the world. Being cooped up at home and not having any real connection to like the world outside of our home has really got me yearning for wanting to travel and explore. I'm drawing a lot of my inspiration through Instagram and I love following some of my favorite vintage shop owners, especially those based in the UK. I love Tat London. 8 Holland Street. Australian interior designers, they're really great with pops of color. Crisp white is really important to what I'm seeing from them. I binge watched a lot of beautiful period dramas and movies that had wallpaper and pattern on pattern and I'm absorbing all of that and putting it in my house. anyone can really upgrade their space with scent. It makes a huge difference for elevating your sense of place. I mean, whether it's a small space or a large space, paint, it's such a powerful tool. It's so affordable, it's easy to do, and it's like instant gratification. There's two ways to think about small spaces. A small room, in which case I say, go bold, do something wallpaper or a really rich color. Another way is a small corner. You don't always have to think about a whole room when you're looking for an upgrade. I like to upgrade a corner, maybe put a small gallery wall. Refresh your textiles. That's such a great way in a moment to kind of refresh with new color, new palettes. An investment piece in my mind is something that's really important to you that you personally connect with. My biggest investment piece is a beautiful piece of storage, a credenza, a sideboard, something like that, that really is special in the craftsmanship as well as the wear. For me, it's your sofa. A freestanding cabinet. I've used them everywhere from my kitchen to a bathroom, a bedroom as extra storage. I would say your mattress. A lot of people do not think about investing in their mattress, but you have to understand that you spend so much of your time asleep and rest is essential to mental health, physical health. Redecorating your space now could mean moving things around, changing your bedroom to an office. It's just more about what you're feeling like you need. Decorating now is so much more focused on ease and comfort and flexibility. I see a lot of people spending time making their homes into places that they want to be, which is amazing. People are starting to understand how important it is to really personalize your space. Appeal to all of your senses. Make sure you have a great chair to sit in. Surrounding yourself with things you love, from your water glass, the coaster, the chair that you're sitting on. You want your workspace to be reflective of however it is that you work. If you're someone that really requires a lot of calm and quiet, maybe consider making your space a little bit more minimal. I'm really focused on putting the office away at the end of the day. I have a beautiful box that I put my notebooks, my laptop in, kind of shut it and put it away so I can put work behind me and focus on my personal life.